Hi, I'm James. Uh, yo, this is hilarious. I'm trying to do a video for y'all and I still got to get my intro figured out. I'll figure it out one of these days. But, wanted to bring you guys a video today and show you guys a couple recent pickups that I ended up getting. This one is a mega grail for myself. One that I'm really, really excited to show you guys that I ended up getting. One you guys are not going to give a crap about for the most part. Some of you guys might, for the most part not. But hopefully you guys are just happy for me. If you guys are, that's all that matters, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get into it. We got a couple of different pickups from Saucony. Big shout out to Saucony, man, holding it down, gifting me a bunch of cool pairs of sneakers. This one, by far, is just absolutely crazy. I wanted to show you guys. Boom! Look at this craziness, man. The lighting in here might make these look copper, but they're actually rose gold. And uh, the details on this shoe is just wicked. The coloring of this shoe is crazy. The off-white accents, the kind of the suede tongue perforated leather liner, the leather insole. One of the coolest features on the shoe that I like is the embossed Saucony logo on the tongue. Very, very neat. So these are known as the Saucony Grid SD Ether colorway. There's a story behind the ether. I'm gonna link it in the description so you guys can see it. But it has to do with Boston and the revolution of medicine back in 1846. So these things are gonna retail at 120, which is a pretty dang reasonable price if you ask me for what you get. The release date is the day after Valentine's on 215. I will link in the description, the release link of this when it goes live. I will also post it on Instagram and Twitter, but these things are straight fire, dude. Saucony, major kudos to you guys, and thank you, thank you for sending these my way. So a couple other pairs they ended up sending my way. Another pair of Grid SDs, and another pair of Grid SDs. But yo, they sent, three pairs of grid SDs in a week. Like, I'm just like in heaven right now. This is so crazy. And the dopest part, look at the difference between these. Like grid SD, grid SD, just crazy, crazy different looking sneakers. These ones are super flashy as you can tell. These ones are like way more subtle, like earth tones with the quilted kind of uh, toe box area and the quilted upper. These are just wild. The color of this is kind of like an off white and gray and kind of a, like a bluish colorway, but really, really solid pair of sneakers. And then my favorite one that they probably sent between these and, and the rose golds, these are amazing looking. I love the overall look of these and the colorway. I saw Yoanti actually got these and I was secretly hoping, I was like, man, I hope Saucony sends me those because they look so sick. The quilted upper, the uh, this one has kind of a camel color and, and a cream color with a little bit of gray. Just a really well executed sneaker in my opinion. They've definitely been doing a lot of dope work. If you haven't picked up a pair of Saucony's yet, price points are really, really good. I try to post some deals on Instagram and whatnot whenever I see them go on sale. Uh, but, um, but definitely a brand that is doing some big things in 2017 so far. So we made it to the big unboxing right here. According to the Urban Dictionary, a grail is a shoe sneakerhead want the most in their collection. The shoes they will do anything for including selling or trading their whole collection for it. How close is that to a grail in your guys' definition? For me personally, I don't think I would sell every one of my sneakers just to have that one. But a grail is also a thing that is earnestly pursued or sought after. I think that's a better, that's a better definition of what it is. Leave a comment in the comment section, what do you think a grail is? Cover this topic on this channel in the past, but it's 2017, figured let's do it again. Because I got a grail right in front of me right here. So. A grail to me is a pair of sneakers that I have definitely sought after and wanted. But for a grail, there really has to be some sort of a motivation behind it and why you want that shoe other than the fact that other people want that shoe or that it's worth a lot of money. I think that's where sneaker grails definitely have difference and variation for what people think of as a grail. A lot of times people just think M&M sneakers or the undefeateds or Oregon sneakers or whatever they are just because that is what popular, they command a crazy high resale and you've always wanted it because it has that resale. For me, it's more about like that I wanted when I was a kid that I couldn't afford because we just didn't have the money. So that might be something that I consider a grail, uh, which I have a couple of those. Also a pair of sneakers that I did have back in the day that remind me of the simpler times of being a student, being poor and having no income and not knowing where my future was heading. So that's what it is. And the longer you live on this earth, the longer you will have uh, time to understand and change your mind and like evolve your perception of what a grail is. So that's kind of just some backstory, but enough babbling, show you guys the grail that I ended up picking up. So big, huge, major shout out to Index PDX in Portland for helping me out get this pair. They gave me a tremendous price on these. Otherwise, I definitely would not have copped because um, 
These are not easy to come by and this is kind of like a unicorn in sneakers for me. I've been looking for a long time for a pair of these and if you don't know what these are, these are the Air Jordan 9s in the Oregon State PEs that were released only, I believe, to the football team back in 2010. Go Beavs, go Beavs. I'm an uh, alumni from Oregon State. I went to Oregon State and that is where I got my education. That's where I met a lot of my friends that I have now. And that's actually where I started DJing. So the definition of a grail is something sought after. So for me, the reason why these are a grail is because I actually learned how to DJ at Oregon State while I was a college student. And I went from somebody that was drinking Mickey 22s from the, the mini mart down the street to be able to buy like sneakers and whatever I wanted because I, I ended up learning how to DJ and was also a promoter. So I promoted the nightclubs I DJed at and I ended up making a crazy amount of money. I, I made 100% of the door. So whatever the door charge was to, to enter the nightclub, uh, I ended up making 100% of that money. So that's way more money than a, what a normal DJ makes. Normal nightclub DJs make 150 to 300 a night. I was pulling in way, way more than that. And I earned it, you know, I, 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 it was my first entrepreneurial activity where I was able to make it as a DJ and promote nightclubs and turn a club that made me, that maybe had less than 50 people a night to over 300, 400, 500 people every night that I was down there. And I met a ton of friends in real life there and I've, I've actually created a secondary business for me for my uh, DJ business as a wedding DJ because I DJ a lot of weddings for a lot of the people that I DJ nightclubs for back in the day. But it really, it gave me the financial freedom first time in my life to really just buy whatever I wanted and I bought a lot of sneakers with that extra money which helped fund the collection that I started back in 03. So that's why these mean something to me because this is a throwback to my school that really brought all my entrepreneurial activities to a start and that was at Oregon State when I was a college student. You don't think of going to college and becoming an entrepreneur usually because you're going to college to get an education so you can work your nine to five and make your, your daily money. But there's so many other ways to make money in this world. My YouTube channel is another way where I'm able to help fund sneakers in my collection and stuff like that and, and uh, same as DJing on the side. So that's kind of what these sneakers represent to me. So I actually met my wife at Oregon State too, which is another huge reason why I'm so happy all the time. I met her, like, and she's a great woman. And she's a great person in general. Oregon State, Beavers mean a lot more than just a football team to me. I'm not even a huge football fan, to be honest. Uh, but in general, like, the school represents a lot. And, and it re represents a time change for myself and a shift for myself into becoming the man that I am today just from, uh, from all of my experiences that I've had. So that is why these are grails. This is kind of a long, rambling video of me talking about um, reasons why this is a grail. Hopefully you guys like it, but these... These were not easy to come by for a decent price and Index definitely gave it to me for under market value and uh, I really, really appreciate them for looking out because uh, this is definitely one of those ones where I'm going to be adding this to the sneaker wall behind me. But that is all we have. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Major shout out to Saucony for the, the heat. Pairs 1, 2, and 3 of the Grid SD is super fresh and I'm excited to be able to have these in my collection, uh, my Oregon State 9s. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you guys like the video. If you see that little notification bell next to the subscribe box, click that if you want to be notified of my videos. And you can leave those comments. It says notification squad or notification gang or whatever you guys put in the, in the comment section. It always cracks me up when I see those. But appreciate you all. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Catch you guys for some more videos tomorrow. Later, guys.